I'm telling this story on behalf of a man named Matthew. A while ago, me and my friends decided to go on a trip in a big camper van to explore a forest called Chuvash National Forest in Alaska. It's a memory that still gives me chills when I think about it. We just wanted to have some fun and do something different from our usual routine. The trip started off really exciting as we drove through amazing landscapes, winding roads and thick forests. Everything seemed great until we got to a lonely area near a lake in the forest. As we went deeper into this quiet place, something felt different. The air got colder, and our loud talking turned into quiet whispers. The tall trees made scary shadows, and there was no sound except for our own breathing. Even though it felt weird, we kept going until we found an old cabin by the lake. We thought it would be cool to spend night there and add some adventure to our trip, but we had no idea what was coming. When night came, we sat around a small fire, enjoying the warmth and each other's company. But suddenly, we heard footsteps far away in the forest. We tried to ignore it, but then we heard a sound like an old door creaking, and people with strange masks appeared from the darkness. These masked people quietly surrounded us, and we got really scared because they seemed like they knew what they were doing. They started taking our things from the van without making any noise. The leader, with a creepy smile behind his mask, warned us to stay quiet, or else something bad would happen. We were so scared that we couldn't move as they took our stuff and disappeared into the darkness. After they left, we stayed quiet for a long time, feeling really scared and helpless. Finally, we called the police, who came and checked everything out. They seemed serious about it. What's really scary is knowing that there are people like that in the forest, hiding and stealing from others. It's a reminder that even places that seem nice can be dangerous, and that's something I won't forget. Once upon a time, a group of friends, Ming, Tyrone, Natasha, and Carlos, went out on an adventurous trip in their RV to explore Tongas National Forest. They were thrilled as they drove, enjoying each other's company and sound of the RV's engine. They were excited to discover the beauty of the forest, feeling like they were heading into a paradise. As the day turned into evening, they decided to stop at a rest area. At first, everything seemed peaceful with the trees casting gentle shadows in the moonlight. But their sense of calm was shattered when they noticed a rough-looking truck nearby, with a few men hanging around it, drinking. Feeling uneasy, they stayed inside their RV and watched as a drunken fisherman came towards them, asking for help. Ming went out to talk to him. As he came outside, the fisherman became aggressive, waving a knife. Back inside the RV, they realized their tires had been tampered with, leaving them stranded. With no cell service to call for help, they knew they had to come up with a plan. Carlos remembered seeing a gas station a few miles back, so they decided to make a run for it. They waited for the right moment and then dashed to the gas station, praying it would be open. Luckily, they made it to the gas station safely and explained their situation to the attendant, who called the police. The fishermen disappeared before the police arrived, leaving them relieved but still shaken. The rest of their trip was tense as they repaired the tires and kept an eye out for any more trouble. Their adventure taught them that even beautiful places like Tongas National Forest can have hidden dangers. They learned to be cautious and to always watch out for unexpected threats, especially when traveling in unfamiliar areas. I still get chills when I think about the RV trip my buddies and I took last summer. We wanted to get away from the busy city and surround ourselves with the calmness of nature. Our plan was to go to a quiet forest campsite nestled among mountains and waterfalls, a spot known only to the most adventurous. When we parked our RV in the heart of the woods, we were buzzing with excitement. The tall trees seemed to whisper secrets of the wild, and the distant sound of a waterfall added magic to our camping adventure. Little did we know that the peace of nature would soon be shattered by a scary experience that would stay with us forever. The first few days were full of joy as we laughed, hiked, and explored the hidden places of the forest. It felt like we had stepped into a different world, far from the hustle and bustle of our daily lives. 
But one evening, after sunset, a sense of unease began to creep in. As we gathered around the campfire, sharing stories and enjoying the warmth, I suddenly felt that we are being watched. At first I brushed it off as just my imagination running wild in the wilderness. But as the night went on, the feeling grew stronger. On the third night we heard footsteps outside our RV. When we looked outside the windows there was nothing, just the dark forest. We laughed it off, feeling that it's just our imaginations playing tricks on us. Little did we know that our laughter would soon turn into terror. Then, on the fifth night, it happened. I woke up to a tapping sound on the RV window. I scared as I cautiously approached and looked through the thin curtain. I saw a figure standing in the darkness outside. Suddenly I realized that someone was watching us. With trembling hands I woke my friends and we decided to confront the intruder. But when we flung open the RV door the stranger was gone, leaving no trace behind. It was as if they had never been there at all. Terrified, we packed up our camp at sunrise and left the forest behind. What was once a beautiful place now felt like a scary place, and the memory of the silent observer haunted us all the way home. To this day, I can't shake the feeling of being watched. What was supposed to be a peaceful escape into nature turned into a harrowing experience that made us question the thin line between the known and the unknown. The forest, once a place of beauty, now lingers in my nightmares as the haunting grounds of the silent observer.